Hey guys, what I'm going to be doing today is showing you some basic steps on how to make a pattern for your woodworking projects. These patterns are quite easy to make. They can be uh, used very easily when trying to make multiple parts for your projects. Uh, when they have to all be the same, it's, it's very easy to make some of these. It makes it easier when you're following drawings uh, that you may find out there on the internet or in books, that sort of thing. Uh, so just come with us and I'll show you a few easy steps on making your project. What we have here is a typical layout of a part that can, we can find typically in woodworking books or magazines and that sort of thing. And each of these squares represent one inch of size on your board. According to the scale that's right here, we can see uh, right here, if I can get the camera to focus, that one square equals one square inch. Now, if we wanted to make this pattern to produce this part for our project, the best way to do that is to simply take a scrap piece of uh, plywood or other type of wood, as you see that I've done here, and I have simply drawn one inch square grids all along this piece. Now, what I can do from this is simply count up and over add my marks onto my blank here as I see in the way they are in this pattern. Now once I do that I can simply take this pattern to my bandsaw cut that pattern out and I will have a good pattern to use in my woodworking projects. Okay guys here we are I have my pattern laid out on my plywood and you can see I've got a few little notes and corrections. I messed up where I was drawing, but uh, better to make the mistake on laying out the pattern before you cut it. So uh, once we get this cut out, uh, you can use a uh, bandsaw or a jigsaw, uh, even a coping saw, just depending on what you have. And I have gone through and I have uh, double checked uh, to make sure that I have got my pattern laid out exactly how it is laid out here. All I have to do now is cut this out, sand it smooth, and we will be able to take it to our wood and start our project. Okay guys, we have got our pattern cut out. I have spent the past little bit just sanding it to get it true. And this is going to be for a chair I'm going to be building. And I think that we're looking real good. I think that uh, we'll be able to make many of these parts very quickly. Uh, spend the time sanding your piece down, get it true, and this, keep this pattern around somewhere. This is something that you could use many times. We're ready to put this on our piece of material, draw out our piece, cut out our piece, and build our project. Uh, if you like the video, please like and share. I'd appreciate it. Also, visit my blog at KentuckyWoodCrafts.com. Thanks for your time. Drop me a line, leave me a comment, and uh, thanks for watching.